Hey, how's it going? This is Kevin from Audio Digital, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial on FM synthesis. I'm going to do a series going over FM synthesis, how it works, how to get different sounds from it, what's it doing, basically just going through all of what you need to know to use FM synthesis effectively in your production. So let's get started. So FM synthesis, I love FM synthesis. Um, I grew up listening to music in the 80s, and um, I, I, I didn't even know what it was back then, but I definitely liked that sound. Um, FM synthesis was made commercially va available and viable through the DX7 by Yamaha. And that was used all over in all kinds of music throughout the 80s. It has a sound that's kind of kind of organic, but also artificial at the same time. Later on, other synthesizers came out, or samplers namely came out, that could do very realistic sounds. So uh, DX7 and other analog synths kind of fell out of favor for a while. Um, but they kept making things and people in electronic uh, music start picking it up and using it in, you know, techno and other forms of music. Uh, here's a more recent one. I, I believe this one came out like in 2000 around there somewhere. And people use this a lot to uh, make bass lines and things like that. Um, and even today, FM still goes strong. A lot of producers use FM synthesis. Um, Yamaha even came out with this new kind of little small mini key uh, FM synthesizer they call uh, Reface. And even their big deal flagship, the Montage, has F an FM synthesis engine, which is expanded upon and improved from the original so it is still a part of our lives. We've rediscovered it and love it, and, and people use it all the time. Now, if you're on a computer and you don't want to, you know, like drop a, a 3Gs on a montage or something like that, <clears throat> there are a lot of different uh, VSTs and, and other um, virtual synthesizers that do FM. Um, if you're on live, there's operator. Operator is an FM synthesizer. It's four operator. That means it has a, a four operators as opposed to the original DX7 had six. Um, but you can still do a lot with just four. Uh, if you're on Bitwig, there is FM4, another four operator FM synthesizer. Um, FL Studio has Centris, Centris, whatever that's called. And uh, I don't, I don't think it comes with FL Studio, but you can buy it separately. I think that's how it works. It's been a while since I've been in FL, um, but that's a, a great one. It's it's actually a six operator, and uh, there's a really comprehensive synthesizer called Falcon that has a four operator FM synthesis oscillator that you can do FM with. There's a a relatively new uh, synthesizer called Biotech by Traction that does four operator. But um, for this tutorial and throughout, we're going to use NI's FM8, Native Instruments FM8, which is probably the most powerful and comprehensive uh, FM synthesizer, at least that I know of, uh, that is in the virtual domain. And uh, it's really powerful and flexible, and, and you really owe it to yourself to learn how this guy use. Uh, I'm sorry, how this guy works, and how to make the sounds you want with it. So I'm going to be using this throughout the tutorial, but uh, pretty much all the principles that I'm going to be talking about and teaching about here are applicable across the range of any FM synthesizer you run into, pretty much. So you can use these same techniques if you have another FM synthesizer, even if you have uh, a hardware synth. So I hope you're excited about this. should be fun, and I think you'll be surprised at what we can uh, produce with FM. So let's get started. 